What's up, guys? The next two moves I'm going to talk about aren't flashy and aren't um, internet breaking, but they are important in depth and they're diamond in the rough kind of guys. Um, one hitter and one pitcher we just signed like three minutes ago, so bear with me here. Um, we signed Alex, Alex Dickerson, outfielder, left fielder, formerly of the San Francisco Giants to a one-year, $1 million non-guaranteed major league contract, uh, which means if he doesn't make the team, he will uh, be in the minors probably about 700000 like Abraham Almonte last year. Uh, so that's the same type of situation. What Alex Dickerson brings is a lot of pop off the bench, a left-handed bat off the bench, you could also use him as a DH uh, in left field if you need to. Although I will say his defense leaves a little bit to be desired. So I would assume he would just uh, left field and DH, DH primarily probably. Um, but he's got a lot of pop. The, comp, the best comp that I've heard for Alex is Matt Joyce Light. Uh, his best season was the pandemic shortened season. Recently, 296 with the Giants, 10 homers. Doesn't sound like a lot, but uh, Kevin Seitzer has rubbed some magic dust on some of our guys of late. Austin Riley having a breakout year. Um, Jorge Soler coming over and feeling really, really comfortable last year. Uh, Panda having some really big moments. Kevin Seitzer has a big um, influence on those guys. So hopefully you get some of that for Alex Dickerson. I really like it because, again, depth. You can never have enough depth. You can never have enough quality players. And Alex Dickerson provides that in the outfield and in the DH situation. So I really like that. Um, and like three minutes ago, we signed right-handed pitcher Tyler Thornburg to a one-year non-guaranteed contract nine hundred thousand dollars another diamond in the rough type of type of guy 33 uh has dealt with a myriad of injuries back in 2016 was his best year eight and five with a 216 era with the milwaukee brewers uh he's another maybe tyler matzik possibility and i think the injuries are behind him hopefully and he could be a nice, a nice option um, on the on the right side of the bullpen, and I think he can pitch multiple innings as well. Again, if the injuries are behind him, he's going to be an interesting follow. We did place Kirby Yates on the 60-day DL. Don't freak out. He he is not expected back until uh, August uh, at the earliest, as he's recovering for Tommy John surgery. So Tyler Thornburg, the next Tyler Matzik, who knows? But again, depth options, never a bad thing. And it's going to be interesting to see uh, how the bullpen, the bullpen eventually shakes out because you are locked into 13 pitchers right now. So that is why Colin McHugh signing yesterday was very important because he can throw multiple innings. He can get both... Um, both sides out, and we'll see how Tyler Thornburg works out in spring training. But another intriguing couple of guys to follow um, in spring and see what they bring to the roster. But really, really excited. And again, AA continues to um, find the guys that fit fit the needs that we need and not break the bank at the same time. It's, it's glorious to watch. As always, go Braves champions forever.